hours drive northwest of Masindi in the Makison Falls National Game Park lies Sambia River Lodge. It offers scenes, landscape paintings, are made of, and this destination encompasses the best of them. Sambia sits on seven hectares of private game reserve with more than 50 comfortable rooms for the guests to stay in. A visit here is like being let in on a fantastic secret, and GM Laura has seen it unfold. I feel so refreshed just arriving at this majestic property. You know, for the ultimate getaway, I just discovered you a place that you would love to find out. Now, this place is called Nsambia River Road. It has this tranquility, it has the amazing birds that are serenading, you know. They are singing, you're welcome dear Drago. <laughs> it's been a long journey, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you are welcome, Drago. Thank you very much. We've been expecting you. Did you get lost? Uh, no, I, uh, <laughs> hey, not man. at all. It was hard reaching here yeah. because it's quite far. I'm yeah. happy to be here. We're happy I to be here. I love the birds. What, what's this idea about the birds and seeing these, a lot of nests? These up are here. black headed weavers. Yeah. Oh resident they help us welcome guests yeah and they say that it's what do you know about when when birds pull on your head it's a blessing yes it yeah. is so do you I, want I, that to I, happen i think i got one on my jersey yes. <laughs> i'm happy so, to be oh the first SOPs. Things first. Yeah. yes yes that's good let's see my temperature so uh everything was amazing the traffic wasn't there. It's so smooth coming here. It is. The is, road is, this, is, perfect, is this isn't a it? pond? Yes, it is, with over 30 fish in here. Wow. Yes. Oh, I just captured one. Mm -hmm. It's right there. They come out more in the evening. I'll bring you back to look at them. Yeah. We've got lights underneath, and it lights up pretty well, and all the fish come out. Amazing. Yeah. I hope you don't grow this fish to be eaten. Absolutely not. It's pet fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amazing. It's beautiful. This place is so beautiful. I mentioned about the tranquility of the place, yes. and it's so breathtaking. It's surrounded by evergreen bush fact. Some welcome juice for you, Drago. Oh, I really Hello. need this. Yeah. I needed this. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ah, man, after the road eh? yeah. <laughs> and the sun. Have you seen the sun? Yeah. Yep, it's always oh this hot. Oh, my God. Between hot and showers, rain showers and everything. It's soothing my throat. Yeah. I feel refreshed already. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll take it on from there. Yeah, yeah. later on. So, I'll need you to just feel a very quick foam. Yeah. Yeah. Protocol. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There we go. Okay, cool. There you go. Didn't you find that it was a very easy ride? Yeah, it was. Uh -huh. um, Tamak all the way except for that uh, man. small patch that they You know how you on. go to these retreats or game parks or uh, safari lodges and you find bumpy roads? Yeah. This was so smooth. So smooth. I, I don't know. <laughs> I did, I, does it have something to do with you guys? Well, I'd like to say yes, but I'll give that credit to Ua. They're doing an amazing job. I believe this is my key. Yes, so this is your key. Yeah, later oh, on I'll 22. check out my room. Yes. But I would love to tour around the place. Sure, let I'm, me take I, you around. I'm told you have the best scenario around. I would love to show you. Okay, cool. Right. I guess my bag is safe here? Yes, yes it is. Okay, we'll be cool. taken to your room. Zambia has very much fascinating stories. Tell me more about the history of this place. Well, for starters, this is a 26-year-old property. Yeah. It's the second oldest in the park. Yeah. We have actually maintained the old structure. This yeah. is exactly how it was built. Yeah. Everything here was locally sourced, locally made. Mm. Um, there's a story to yeah. each of this, including this wooden spider web. Yeah. But um, I'm sure we will get back. To, we'll get to that later. Wow. Yeah. You live really. It's you live up to this. And even the the skulls that you see, these are actually skulls of uh, yeah, real actual, animals. Actual, yes, real animals, just yeah. painted, but they're real. So, Laura, something just captivated my attention. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you have a kid's nursery. Yes, we really. do. Really. Is this really a thing? No <laughs> any other place I've seen in Uganda that has this establishment. Why do you uh, feel like there's a need for you to improvise for kids? Well, you know, 
something really, really important. Yeah. When children are comfortable and busy, yeah. kept occupied basically, yeah. then parents will have the best of time. And that's when they can relax and have a drink at the bar. Yeah. We actually have a child minder, like yeah. in the evenings, mm. that stays with the children. We have movies for them. Mm. There's lots of toys that we have tucked my, my away. My nephew can actually in fit in this. <laughs> Even you if you try. <laughs> <laughs> if I try, come yes. on, let me, let me try this. See? I'm a big boy. I so we have a lot of boy. toys tucked yeah. away in those chests yeah. and a lot of comfortable cushions. Mm. They spend hours in here. Amazing. You wouldn't believe it. You even provide a screen for them. Yes, yeah, so sometimes parents will even go on a game drive or a boat ride if the children are a bit too small for that. Yeah. And we keep them busy for the parents. Wow. Yeah. I feel like doing this, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like doing this, Lois. <laughs> I just sit here and meditate with my nephews yeah. and play some games. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, there's, there's lots. All these are board games and yeah. then there's Legos yeah. and lots of movies. Cool, let's go yeah. on. This All is right. very beautiful. The lodge is hashed with grass from the savanna and we find it a refreshing, not overly modern design. I return to a classic safari look where the buildings feel traditional. The decor is rustic enough to feel part of the bush. This, I can't believe. Because when you just enter through that door, you might think this is it. Mm -hmm. This is it. But no, it's huge. this is a very huge lounge. It is, it is. This, this is our lounge space, big enough to sit about 60 to 70 people wow, comfortably. 60. Yes. Yeah. We have the dining areas up there, mm. and then the lounge spaces here, and yeah. then there's a lovely bar up there overlooking yeah. the pool and the forest. Well, let I can't wait you. to see the bar. Yeah, let me show it to you. <laughs> So you can see all the comfortable sitting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Still, you're, you're incorporating in the African yes. pieces yes. and the African culture yes, yes, designs yes. around. Why is yes, it so important for you to look African? Well, why not? We're in the heart of Africa. This is yeah. Nepal of Africa and in the middle of a forest. Yeah. I mean, what other way? So this is the Fisherman's Bar. Oh, interesting yeah. name. Mm -hmm. How does the name come by? It was named after the fishermen that used to come celebrate their wins here yeah, after yeah. fishing. You'll yeah. see all those pictures later. Yeah. But sometimes they caught fish as big as 50 kgs. What? Yes. Wow. Now, I must say, Laura, this is my favorite part. It's, it's the reason, actually, I packed my bikini. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the pool. I love it. It's not too big but yet it can still accommodate. Yes, you know, pools in areas like this don't have to be that big mm. because it's not exact, you're not coming for Olympic mm. swimming. Mm. It's basically just to chill, just to relax, chill. usually to cool down yeah. because it gets really hot here. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've just arrived, I might not swim right now, but hey, believe me, tomorrow, uh -huh. this is part, of, it's, it's on part of my list. I'm taking you to your cottage, Drabo. Yes, yes, but then I before that, yeah. before that, I just wanted to show you one of our family cottages. Mm. Remember how I told you we're really big on family? Yeah. Yes. So we named this one Bagwere. It's yeah, one fast, of the fascinating tribes. because I was seeing others. They had uh, like tribes. So this is a family cottage. Mm. This uh, is the first room. Mm. This is usually where the parents would sleep, oh. right? As you can see, a double bed. Yeah. Um, and in the next room is where the children would sleep. But let me show you. What's really special about this as well? Laura, I still love the, <laughs> the, the incorporation of the art yes. pieces. You're so particular So much of wildlife yeah. and African, you know? And as usual, you know, like I told you, we've yeah. maintained the traditional um, Do architecture. Do you have an outdoor shower? Yes, wow. definitely. Wow, an in this, outdoor and indoor shower. Yes. So this is all part of being one with nature. Imagine taking yeah. a shower and you're looking up at the sky, the trees, and you've seen how we have yeah. so many trees. There's way and, more trees and it's, than... It's, <laughs> it's so, it's, it's so uh, spacious. Yeah. I can actually make a concert in here. <laughs> Not just to sing in the show, I could just make a concert. Yo, check yeah. me out. This is so cool. And, especially and the water it's pressure, so it's here. okay? The pressure is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so spacious and private. Yes, and it is. But still, it's out. You know, when people, when you talk of an outdoor shower, people are like, but aren't there people seeing you and this and yeah. that? But no, you can see how private this is and yet so open at the same time. I can't wait to see where the kids are sleeping because now I've known the parents are sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Laura. So you're telling me that it's interlinked? Yes, it is interlinked. So, like I said, the parents sleep here. Mm. And then we've got two single beds here, yeah. usually for the children. Yeah. So this doesn't just have to be for children. It could also be 
you know, a yeah. couple there and then two friends here yeah. or two older children. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But the fact that this brings people together, so yeah. this is four people that could yeah. stay together like this. Yeah. Even if it's a parent, you don't, you're actually able to monitor your kids yes. to come and see what they're checking out <laughs> yes, on their yes, phone yes. or yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And Perfect. just so that the children are not in a whole other separate cottage, because mm. you've seen how they're all quite a distance away. Mm. Yeah. So the showers are that side as well, even the closet, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I can't wait to see where finally I'm going to sleep. I'm dying to see this. <laughs> yes, but you can actually see the river down there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely amazing. Yes. I mean, the, the, the scenery of the place yes. is so breathtaking. It is, it is. I love it. I love it. I love the scenery of the place. And it's so peace and quiet. It, it feels you should have actually named this uh, a forest lodge or something because yes. it feels like it's in so, the middle of the forest. Look at this space. Mm. We're actually planning to put a campfire here. So oh. it'll be a private campfire yeah. for the couple in this cottage. Yeah. You know, and we're going to do that in front of uh, quite a number of them yeah. and their own hammocks. Mm. Um, so usually, especially in the evening, mm. but down at the river, you can see water bike and mm. uh, warthogs, mm. you know, coming to they drink. They come and drink yes. from there. Wow. Yes, so it's, it's lovely. So lovely. let me show you your room. Yeah, please. We go through this door, right? Yes. Amazing. So what's my room called? Your room is... Bafumbira. Laura, talk about the Bafumbira. I have a friend of mine who is a Bafumbira. They would definitely love to be here. Wow. Wow. Yes, this is I your room. I love the girl. design yeah. of this bed. Mm. This is quite unique. It feels, is. It feels like it's... It's a uh, proper African bed. Yeah, an yes. African bed. Yeah. Authentic. Wow. Tell me about how you're resourcing this natural material to make all this. Do you get it from the locals? It's very interesting that you ask because mm. <laughs> this room is actually called Bafumbira yeah. and this particular basket on the wall was actually made from by ladies in Kisoro. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? This, it's By Bafumbira very interesting. ladies, that basket. Mm. And then this was woven about 20 years ago yeah. by a group of people in Masindi. Mm. Yeah, so that's what we mean by the locally sourced. You can see the lumps. Yeah. Yeah. These it, feels are actually... like, it feels like I'm going to uh, have a very nice night here. Yeah. I'm going to sleep like a baby. You just <laughs> lie on the bed and do this. Yeah, with the sounds of the. Ooh. With all the traveling yeah. I had, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my experience around. I hope you do. So you have a balcony here and yes. a huge door that exposes you to this balcony. Yes. I mean, look at that. Wow. Nature. Do you remember what I told you about that tree? The yeah. sausage tree? Yeah. Huh? It, the elephants. Uh, <laughs> is it elephants? When they, elephants eat that, they get they drunk. They get drunk. And yeah. uh, people use it for medicinal purposes, yeah. diabetes and high blood pressure, yeah. ETC. So it's, it's a very important tree for people. Yeah. So, so uh, let's, let's have a seat here. Just a quick one. I want to find out what I'm going to do next. So uh, after this, I'm going to go for some sort of like a walk. Yes, you're going for a nature walk in mm. there, Ooh. basically in that jungle. Yeah. You're going to walk down to the river yeah. and come out at the bridge. Mm. I heard you mentioned of a name called George. George <laughs> looks like he's going to be an interesting person George to is, move with. Yes, George is our resident tour guide. Yeah. Very amazing. He's got the most amazing stories and there's nothing about Max and Falls that he doesn't know. Yeah. So much history, so many interesting stories. Some of them I'm like, but George, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you'll really definitely enjoy that. So George, uh, I'm seeing a very huge forest ahead of us. It's something very exotic. I've never even thought of doing. It looks very scary. Please pass me through the briefing. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. My name is George. Mm. I am a, a ranger guide yes. working with Uganda Wildlife Authority, but yeah. stationed here at Sambia River Lodge. Yeah. Um, we do nature walk. We do different activities inside of the park. Mm. And a nature walk is one of the activities we also do in the park. Yes. At Sambia River Lodge, we also do some walking. And I'm going to take you through the trail. Mm. Uh, in this walk, we expect to see many things. We expect some birds. 
Uh, we also expect to see some animals. Yeah. Uh, we will be having a look at oh, many so of the Is that why you came with your binoculars? I came with binoculars, yes, yeah. because sometimes uh, birds, for you to identify them, yeah. you need to see in very close, close range. So there's also some fascinating fact you told me about this place, that some part is savannah, another part is covered with trees. Um, How one true of is that? The things that we did mm. is that we made the trail Mm. for you to be able to enjoy every category of activity. Has yes, there please. ever been any incident, be honest with me, any incident whereby somebody is attacked by a wild animal as in the midst of this uh, evening walk or uh, forest walk? There has been so many things that happens, uh, of course, in the wild here. Mm. Um, sometimes people get attacked by animals mm. and so you as a ranger then you have to work out a way to take people out. Um, but for the time that I have been, I have not heard for this period where people are being attacked so much, especially tourists mm. coming into the park and doing the different activities and they're being attacked by animals. This place smells like a cow dung. It smells like, and it looks like a playing field for yeah, it's, certain uh, animals. This is a, a salt lake. Yeah. Um, animals taste salt from the ground. And that's why we saw a lot of footprints coming this way because this is one of the places. But also, with the, the warthog, when they get this kind of water, yeah. it is nice to cool their body. They will yeah. begin to wallow in it and do all the sort of thing, yeah. even, even buffaloes. Let's go. And uh, yeah. you see, this is dung beetle. Yeah. Dung beetle is a very important insect in the ecosystem mm. because they are the one that add the fertilizer, the fertilization of the soil. Yeah. So they come into the dung and then they kind of uh, roll it, but also when they roll it, they lay their eggs inside the dung and then they cover it. So then they will go somewhere and dig the ground mm. and then push the dung on, in, inside the soil and cover it. But of course, what it has taken, it will be good nutrients for the grass and the trees. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the trees also that we find on this trail. Mm. And this is uh, is Kigeli Africana. Now, Kigeri Africana, in the English name, they have called it sausage tree. At Sambia, you can set out to walk and pursue connection with nature. First of all, I want to, to help you understand that Machan Falls is not only the best national park in Uganda, but one of the best in Africa. Wow. Matson Falls is one of the first created national parks in Uganda yeah. in 1952 together with Kidepo National Park and Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Matson Falls National Park occupies an area of 3,893 square kilometers wow. it's but it is buffered yeah. by Bugungu Wildlife Reserve which occupies 474 square kilometers mm. as well as Karuma Wildlife Reserve which occupies 698 square kilometers. Mm. These three make what we call Machin Falls protected area. Mm. But my jurisdiction as a chief warden also entails three other protected areas. I am I'm in charge of taking care of uh, Kabwea Wildlife Reserve yes. in Hoima and, uh, and the new created Kikube district, yes. uh, East Madi Wildlife Reserve, as well as Ajai Wildlife Reserve. Yeah, Chief Warden, how, why would it be so important for somebody to come in this wilderness and you know experience the same experience I'm passing through? How important is wildlife? First of all, wildlife as a sector, tourism together, yeah. is the highest exchange earner for government economy. Much mm. Falls alone before COVID would receive 100,000 guests mm. per annum. And this would be contributing to 1.66 billion mm. worth of money national economy. So you can imagine if we thought carefully about how to use this asset as a government 
institution, how much money we would be? A lot. Mm, a it lot. would be a lot. Mm. And one of the most important things you need to consider yes. is the name Murchison. Yes. Which derives its name from the president of the Royal Geographical Society then yes. when the Murchison Falls was invented. Yes. So it's it's not a joking place yeah. in Africa, it's not a joking place in Uganda, yeah. and it's bisected by River Nile, yes. which starts its journey from Jinja yes. all the way to Egypt, Egypt yeah. making approximately 6,700 kilometers. Well, thank you, Chief Warden, for your time, and it has been a pleasure speaking to you. Guests at Zambia River Lodge can enjoy scriptures meals throughout the day, an incredible three-course candlelight dinner every night while listening to the magical sounds of Africa. Dragol sat down with Chef Oboti, the head chef at Sambia River Lodge, and tonight he met something special for him. First of all, I need to welcome you to Sambia River Lodge. Yes. Yeah, I think for this few days, this is your house. Yes. So I, I want you to relax, feel yeah. free, yeah. and have fun. Hey, I'm already feeling at home. Oh, that's great. So, what am I having for starters? So, for tonight, you have a pumpkin soup. Yes. Yeah, in fact, the reason why it is in the reason why I choose to make with pumpkin soup, yeah. because you know we in Africa yet we have what we call infused flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amazing! I yes, already feel the flavors. Because exactly, we use herbs mm. within this premises. We got our own garden mm. where we plant our own herbs, mm. so we don't need this thing. Far I like the there. color, as if there is a bit of turmeric. Is no, turmeric there? We don't. That's why I tell you we don't deal with anything packs in the those containers mm. we do our own thing mm. so we make our own spice because mm. we have our herbs around here the pumpkin itself is that the color mm. our pumpkin is amazing amazing so where did you get the passion to cook mm. how did you uh, start to love how to cook yeah yes i was telling you it's an amazing mm. and i would never expect it to become a chef mm. so it was back in 2004 when i was still a young guy mm. so it's one of the hotel in kampala called emin pasha hotel yeah so i just is that where you began from? That's where I began from. Mm. So I look at my fellow young men like me, mm. so that they were just doing great job in the kitchens, and me, I was just outside there, then I was like, wow. Yeah, so, so what, what are we having for our main course? So our main course, we got beef fillets. Mm. Yeah, so we have Uganda mm. beef fillets. When you look at our marinations, mm. it is done from our fresh herbs. We have them in our garden. I like the meat. So the meat is tender, it's, it's, it's soft, tender. and mm. it's really amazing. Mm. It's the same to potato, mm. but it's also, you see, we don't need to go do chips, which is full of oil. Mm. We just dry things in ovens with herbs. Then everything is amazing. It is wonderful. How do they say, enjoy your meal in your dialect? In our language? Yes. Cham mabe. Cham mabe. Well, yeah. it tastes very fantastic. Thank I can't wait to finish Thank this. Thank you very much. Please make sure you finish so it. So what did you uh, prepare for our, for our dessert? Yeah, simply because as I told you at the beginning that for us, our reason being in Zambia's River Lodge, mm. we need to support the community around. Mm. So, you know, many people plant around bananas around here. Mm. So I need a simple dessert. That is well, the bananas banana are fritters. grown from here? Yeah, bananas are grown from Masini. We have Masini 
people here in Masini, we have a new around here, we have a gong in this side of the park, we have a little that side. Mm. So the reason why in a park we are supposed to come support the community. What is this we're having? This Bananas? is banana frita, it's called banana frita, it's mm. a simple dessert. So with, you... with, with, with orange and sauce mm. plus the lemon wedges. So you garnished it with some honey? Yes. And uh, let me test this. Mmm. You need to eat it, it's just not about tasting. You just have to eat it. Mm, mm, mm. It's extremely sweet. Mm -hmm. I feel like after this, not I'll not have... about the, the taste of the honey, but banana itself. Mm. It's amazing. So you fried the banana? No. How did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell me. Because a banana that looks like this, bro, I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> Garnished with some honey <laughs> and some lemon. How, how does the lemon come in play here? You smash it on top as well? Yeah, the juices? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sitting around the fireplace, Guests share captivating stories about the park and the wildlife. Tell me, uh, 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 how are you supposed to feel through this experience? Well, you know, campfire has not started from the park. Mm. Campfire started way back. In fact, it's told campfire is the first school we had mm. in the entire nation. You'd sit on the campfire like this, this is where they teach you morals. This is where they teach you what you got to be, and then your parents tell you your experience. Well, guys, I can tell you that they say never judge a book by its cover, but I'm telling you, Zambia River Lodge is definitely a page turner. <laughs> you have to come here and experience this by yourself because everything here is done in style. You know, from the food to the luxury of the room to the campfire to the scenery of the place, the pool. Ladies, tomorrow I may show some skin, so you better tune in. <laughs> you better tune in to that episode. Bye and have a good evening. We'll see you next week. Eh? Honeymoon. I don't know why they gave it the name Honeymoon. honeymoon. I'm also wondering. But uh, when you get into the honeymoon, uh, everything looks wild. It is a place which is not tempered. Mm. Well, I'm telling you, with the best of the good life, you get to have variety.